Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the Logitech G915 TKL in black versus the white version. A very short video because I've already done unboxings of both these keyboards, and I'll link to those in the description, as well as separate videos so you can just hear the key actuation sounds. And the reason for that is these two keyboards that I have here have different key setups. There are three different key setups to choose from from Logitech the GL Tactile, the GL Clicky, and the GL Linear. Here, the black one has GL Clicky and the white GL Tactile. The clicky version has an audible click and that's the main difference because the Tactile only has a discernible bump. They have the same actuation distance at 1.5mm, total travel of 2.7mm and the same actuation force. And I'll leave all those specs in the description so you can check it out, as well as a link to the page that explains more about the differences between these key switches. Now, what I want to do is talk to you briefly about the difference in terms of the looks, because obviously you could get the key switches for either keyboard, so the preference is going to be looks. I've done a separate video so you can hear the difference, similar to this video, but separately without me talking over the top, where you can hear the key switch difference so you get an idea of what that's like, as well as close-up shots of each of the keyboard. But as you can see, the differences between the two are immediately striking. The white version is very, very clean looking and it has a really bright finish to it. They're both aluminium plated. They're exactly the same design, except one has that white finish to it. And one of the gripes I had with the black one that you can probably see here, the black one has obviously been more heavily used because I've had it for longer. And what you'll noted in the review was that the keys became very greasy and oily over time. Now obviously you can take them off and you can clean them, but I felt like they muddied a lot. It didn't look as nice as one as it came out of the box. And I feel like the design of the white one isn't going to suffer from the same problems because those white keycaps just don't show up dirt as easily, which is surprising. And I'm not saying like Cheeto dust, for example, wouldn't make a mess of it, but general finger usage doesn't seem to be as much of an issue. One of the other gripes I had with the black version of the G915 TKL was that it was quite difficult to see the keycap lettering when the RGB lighting was turned off, and that isn't a problem that I've noticed on the white version as much. But this is interesting because this keyboard has insane battery life. You can get up to something like 135 days of battery out of it under standard use if you have the RGB lighting turned off. Now, turning the RGB lighting off on the black one is not great if you aren't a touch typist. So if you don't know where your fingers are and you have to look at the keyboard constantly, you'll have struggle with seeing what keys are what because you can't see the lettering that easily. And you can see it's sort of an effect here, even with the lights on, you can see that the lettering isn't as clear on the black version as it is on the white one. And that really is much better on the white one. Also, personally, I feel like the white one looks a lot nicer. It's a really good looking keyboard. They're both fantastic, don't get me wrong. They're both very good keyboards, very nice looking, very comfortable to use, really easy on the eye, very striking, and certainly a premium bit of kit but the white one is definitely superior. The difference between the GL Tactile and GL Clicky is also interesting, and I definitely prefer the Tactile. It's much quieter and very nice. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you, and have a great life.